Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about what is AI QA engineering and how is the existing QA engineering job is going to transform to a new job description probably. So in this video, we're going to see how exactly companies are now banking towards AI QA engineering and how they are hiring the QA engineers to be more AI empowered. And one of the examples that I actually went and looked in the uh, job descriptions of the LinkedIn jobs is that, for example, this particular company that I was seeing over here, Everly uh, Well, which is from Austin, Texas, and they are saying, looking for an AI first senior QA engineer, right? I think this is a marketing for that company itself, like whatever company that I'm going to show right now, these jobs are pretty much like marketing for them. But you can see that they have posted four days ago, but they have reposted four days ago, and there were like 100 clicks happened for this particular job description. And what they have actually looking for what they're actually looking for right now is that they're looking for an QA engineer or a senior QA engineer who can thrive an AI first engineering culture to be honest at the moment they're not really looking for a person who can do a fine tuning or test a fine tune uh, of the uh, large language model or something like that but they're looking for a person who can actually use the power of the large language model in their testing purposes for example uh, the uh, they can use the cursor see what they're looking for is use the ai tools like cursor to rapidly generate test case from the requirement user stories and code difference and also maintain uh, or build the test uh, like cypress or playwright using these tools and also how you can improve the uh, code coverage and anonymous detection uh, for the ci cd pipeline and also and there is one point which is very important over here. This is use LLM and agent to simulate the user behavior for a broader scenario coverage. So basically, you are going to be using the power of these tools like the GitHub Copilot or Windsurf or uh, Cursor to write the test cases and improve your existing test cases. And at the same time, they're also looking for uh, a way for you to use the LLMS and the agents to simulate user behavior. So it is a bit more level further not just about using the cursor probably you'll be using the model context protocol like mcp servers to do all of these operations but i think this particular role they're looking for a more generic engineer not exactly like a person who has to be like certified uh, ai person but they're looking for using a person who has knowledge on these tools and also trying to improve from there on something like that right we have actually covered exactly all of these details in our udemy courses uh, as you can see over here in the uh, if you just go to exit automation website over here you can see that uh, it's currently under development though where it's saying that your path to ai qa engineer where if you just go to the paths if you just go to the learn path and then if you go to the AI and testing learn path, which is this particular page we're seeing over here, we have got this generative AI in software testing, this particular course, which actually covers all of these details. If you go and click this enroll in Udemy, you will see that using Gen AI and AI agents in software automation testing, we exactly covered the same exact thing eight months before, where I told like how you can use the large language model uh, or gen ai within your machine and then how you can use it for the manual testing how you can write the automated testing using the gen ai and how you can improve the same thing using the toolings like the model context protocol and using it with the uh, github copilot or mcp servers exactly the same thing that they are looking for as well and not only that if you want to improve your existing automation test suite with the power of these ai like self-healing for that matter we have also covered that over here in this particular course this is exactly what they're looking for and in this particular job description they went a level further and they told that use llms and agent to simulate the user behavior i think they're targeting about the tools which you can build using this particular uh, ai agents and multi-agent systems which is something that we have have got over here like build gen ai and multi-agent systems and tools for the software testing so if you're going to click this particular link you will end up in this particular course where we have built our own uh, ai agents and chatbots and rags using all amas and things right this is something that you can do as well so this is this particular uh, job description and i just browsed across multiple different countries and multiple different places uh, how this uh, ai qa uh, engineering work is going one of the popular post which I saw is from uh, the uh, Notion company, which is very popular for documenting and things that you might have used it many times. They are also looking for an AI QA specialist, but it's kind of contract role to be honest. Uh, and you can see that it's posted like one week ago and there are like 100 people clicked and applied this, which is amazing. 
what they are looking for at the moment is that they are looking for a person who can perform a routine structured QA review of the AI support interaction across the chat, emails, and for email for qualitative and quantitative accuracy. And they're also looking for validate and continuously improve auto QA scoring and matrices prior to deployment and ongoing operation. I think what they're exactly looking for is they have a system where you can use the auto QA as a tool which can help to identify whether the scoring and matrices are as expected or not. This is exactly what we have covered in our tool in the deep eval tool where you can do the evaluation of your large language model or the large language model applications which is pretty much exactly uh, what we have in this particular course. Test AI and LLMS application with the deep eval and ragas which is actually going to cover you how you can do the evaluation of your large language model application like answer relevancy or contextual precision uh, or bias uh, of your large language model and how you can test that with the rag applications ai agents and things that's exactly what we have that in the same course you can use either deep eval or ragas or galileo or hugging face evaluate doesn't matter but they are looking for you to validate using their tool. But we, you can actually introduce, if you have more tool knowledge, you can also introduce and show them that you can use these tools to do the evaluation as well, which is going to be a value added for you while you are going to work on these companies, right? So that's what this company is looking for. Uh, and they're also saying that you will be having a support for an internal uh, QA ambassador program, including training and documentation, which is great. Why not? And this is fully remote work, probably anybody can apply from anywhere and if you're interested go ahead and click this apply button there it'll just increase one out one probably so this is this is what is aiqa specialist role they're looking for and they also have got other roles as well so if you just go to this company uh, this is in bangalore india so if you're living in india uh, good news for you go and apply that so they are looking for a qa engineer who has got a prompt based knowledge so you see that now it's kind of not just one single uh, tool that they're looking for or one single technique they're looking for. They're looking for a prompt engineer, looking for a person who can use the existing toolings like Cursor, WinSurf, uh, GitHub Copilot, or they're looking for an engineer who can even build these tools from the complete ground up. So gone are those days where we had this uh, manual testing job and then automated testing job and then we had this SDET I think those are the flow we still have, but the, the the work that you are going to be doing is going to be a bit more changed. So probably the manual QA engineer is going to be doing prompt engineering. Automation engineer is going to use these tools, maybe Cursor or Windsor or any other uh, AI related tools to improve the existing infrastructure of the test cases. And the SDED is the person who is going to be going a level further and going to start building these AI agent or MCP servers or integrating these into the pipeline and then running it. So the, the, the role probably is going to remain exactly the same, but the work that you're going to be doing is going to change a bit. And it's a good news because you might have heard recently that the creator of Selenium has introduced a tool which is going to be fully on the text based. You just have to give the text like a prompt and then that tool is going to go and generate it. I think that tool is still not out yet. I think it's still under development, but the moment it releases, I will have a video on that. But for now, because it's not out there yet, I'm not going to talk about it. So this is what is the trend right now. So this is what is the AI QA engineering. This is exactly what the companies are banging on right now. And I think this is a very, very high time because even the companies don't know how they are going to be uh, creating a job description for the work that you are going to be doing with. And because this is a high time for us to uh, get into the new transition happening on the AI QA side, I will highly recommend you to start learning right now because you, if you catch up early, you will not regret late, right? So just go and catch up start learning about it but you are not going to really replace anything on your existing infrastructure or the code or the knowledge that you have got your playwright knowledge that you have learned all these days is still going to remain the cypress or senior whatever that you have learned even before is still going to remain they are not going to be obsolete but just that you're going to be value adding with the power of the ai and improving your code even level further and then you're going to be using those th uh, those tools i think that's where the the trend is going to be right now so that's it, guys. This is all about the AI QA engineering and how the trend is shaping right now uh, for the QA engineer to the job. I think this video is going to be giving you a 
bit of a high level details on how you can go a level further and if you really wanted to learn even more please go ahead to the execute automation website where we have got the courses over here this is an old site i'm releasing a new one pretty soon but if you just go to the learning paths you can see all the different path that you can choose to learn the ai related courses and you will be becoming an ai qa certified ai qa engineers probably well the certificate doesn't matter really so that's it guys once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one with an interesting topic